Hi, it's Ariel with Auto City in El Cajon, San Diego's award-winning used car dealership. Behind me is a 2018 Subaru Impreza Sport in island blue pearl with a black interior. This car has 2,266 miles on it. You heard me right, 2,266 miles. This car is waiting for somebody to come and break it in. The Impreza is an economical, good-looking car, and it being a sport with a five-speed manual transmission, this particular example has a little something extra to offer the smart car shopper. Let's take a look. What do we got in here? Aux USB, 12-volt socket. Take a little schlucky of water. Buckle up, buttercup. What? what? Why can't I? Oh. I really like where the e-brake is. Oh. Well, compared to driving the 370Z, clutch operation on this car is a friggin' dream, I tell you. A dream. Okay, let's go. Featuring Subaru's unparalleled symmetrical all-wheel drive system, this Impreza Sport is powered by a 2-liter dual overhead cam 4-cylinder boxer engine. Mated to a good old-fashioned 5-speed manual transmission, delivers 152 horses, 145 torques, and 31 MPG highway. The Sport part is little more than an upmodel appearance package. But I ain't mad at that. The car looks good. It includes features like a big rear spoiler, Sport interior with upgraded seats, red stitching, leather-wrapped steering wheel, carbon fiber-esque trim, and other trinkets and knickknacks. However, it does also include some performance upgrades over the other Impreza trims, such as these 18-inch alloy wheels. And it has something called active torque vectoring. Whatever that means, it promises better handling, sharper turn-ins, and higher cornering limits. Not a sports car and does not compare to the BRZ, but for a run-of-the-mill economical compact sedan, it's a pretty impressive little Impreza. Woo! I I gotta say, for a basic normal, for a basic normal economy car, that thing revs pretty high. That's kind of, it's kind of fun. It, the car's pretty torquey. The car's no slouch. I'll tell you that. It's a it's a fine car to drive. It's smooth with an easy clutch and nice shifting, and it's quiet enough. Well, this car might be rather torquey and high revving, but. It's not the quickest car. Acceleration is not like mind boggling. It still is rather pleasant to drive. I think having the stick shift really helps with this car. Again, it's not the fastest, but it's not unfun. You know, it is torquey enough. I'm kind of enjoying it. And the fact that this particular example only has 2,000 miles on it, you can really feel how new it is. It's yet to be broken in. So anybody who gets a hold of this car will be lucky enough to break it in themselves and really call it their own. That's pretty rare coming from a used car dealership. Now, is this a WRX? No, absolutely not. I did film an actual WRX STI about, uh, maybe about a year and a half ago and that car was an absolute monster. Well, this is not a WRX, it's just an Impreza. One thing this car has over that last WRX is that this is the newest model and they've made a lot of improvements. The interior is actually really nice. Um, there's a lot of information everywhere, which isn't necessarily my thing, but it's there. The gauges and the needles are backlit in red over here, which is just, you know, sexy. And you have, you know, your center screen here, which is a touch screen, and then an info screen over there. And it's all placed where none of it's too distracting while driving. I like it. I like the interior of this car. I think Subaru is the only Japanese automaker that doesn't over-design their interiors. They're very simple, yet kind of industrial looking, very angular and, and boxy, and I like this one. Another thing I really like about Subarus, especially when compared to other Japanese automakers, is the lack of blind spots 
visibility is great in this car. The windshield is, is, has a nice rake and you do have a clear idea as to where the front of your car is. And also, even though the A pillars are thick, these windows over here give you sort of a clear viewpoint to the front right there. And visibility out the back, even though there's a giant rear wing, is, um, is pretty good. This is a good car for somebody who's looking for a sensible, economical daily driver, but still kind of enjoys driving. The Impreza is not as much of a driver's car as the WRX, but the stick shift does make it fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're getting the hang of this now. If you're an economical car shopper that also appreciates the experience of driving, this Subaru Impreza might just be the car for you. If you'd like to come take a look at this car or any other cars we have in our award-winning lot, come see us in El Cajon or check us out online at GoAutoCity.com. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep driving. Auto City.